Hey folks, sorry about the glitch in the last part of the uh, previous video on uh, the transpose of a metric. Sorry about that because I did not switch my window. But nevertheless, uh, where we cut out was I was trying to just show you a quick demo from this website uh, where I read it. It was interesting. It's called as Intuitive Math. I also put the link in the previous video and just wanted to give due credit to this website for borrowing the concepts. So if you remember in, in that video, we were talking about what's the big deal of transpose. So basically what it does is it has an opposite effect of when you multiply using a matrix, a transformational matrix, if you want to have the exact opposite effect of a clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, rotation, then you can use a transpose. That's the beauty of that. And this, this uh, website, has captured it nicely. For example, the same example which I kind of put you, let's say you have a given matrix here. I'm not sure you guys are able to see it or not. Let's say there are two vectors on the X and Y axis which are in yellow color and they are unit vectors which is point, this is point A and this is point B. And if I use this as the transformational matrix, right, uh, on the left and multiply on the unit matrix, this will be the effect that you will get here if you see here. If you see here, it's moving clockwise by 90 degrees and also getting scaled by two, right? In the initial case, if you see here, this is the this is unit one and this is getting unit two. So clockwise rotation and scaling by two, that's what it does, right? Uh, so that was the effect of this kind of a transformational matrix, which in my previous video was on the left side. But if I were to go in the opposite direction where I have to do anti-clockwise rotation on the same in input matrix, and scale it by two, then I'm going to use this matrix, which is the exact transport. If you see here, the rows and columns are interchanged on this one. The row over here is zero two, and that has become a column here. And the second row is minus two and zero, and that has become a column here, right? Both are transpose of each other, right? And if you see the effect of that, this is what the effect is. Hopefully you'll be able to capture on the video. From the starting position, it goes, it rotates 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and also scales it by two. So that's kind of the geometric intuition of what a transpose means. The algebraic definition is pretty simple. Exchange your rows and columns of a matrix and then you get a transpose. But why do we do that? What is the intention behind that? Why do we do that? So assume that you're going to design a computer game or some sort of computer graphics or you want to have a, you know, a, a fantastic video where you're going, showing some animation. And the effect of that you need to have is you need to exactly show it in the opposite clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation of doing something and showing the effect of that. You can use this kind of a transformation uh, to do that. And that thing, nothing but it's transpose. For example, if the user clicks a button and if you're going to move it into a clockwise direction and if you want to just reverse it and go in the other direction, you just use the transpo transpose of the matrix and multiply it with the given vector and when the user presses, he will get an animation effect where things are moving in the opposite direction. So just wanted to leave you with that and give credit to this kind of website for borrowing the concepts. Thank you very much guys. Hopefully the geometric intuition was interesting in terms of why transpose and what's the big deal about that. More coming up uh, on the next video on the, uh, on the plain vanilla definition of uh, algebraic definition of transpose, which is the textbook definition.